there are, this is a this is just an introduction. There are six possible responses to the gospel call. When you go to an evangelistic church and the pastor's preaching and he presents the gospel, and let's say that person is not born again, is not a Christian, and he hears the gospel preached. There are six responses that he makes or could make. Number one, apathy. Some were not willing to come. Matthew chapter 22 and verse 2. No big deal, no theory, no emotion. They just simply decide not to come. It puts them neither up or down, just no thank you when you hear a preacher preach or a teacher teach no thank you I hear you no big deal one way or the other number two is amusement Matthew chapter 22 and verse 2 some might make light of it bit of a laughter you know really snigger snagger You've got to be kidding me, right? They might say. You have got to be kidding me. I was drugged here to hear this sermon. You have got to be kidding me. Number three is activity. Verse five. They went their ways, one to his own farm, another to his business. Slothful has killed its thousands, but busyness has killed its tens of millions. They just... They just leave, go back to the farm, do what they've always done. Number four, aggressiveness. They rest, the rest seized his servant, treated them spitefully, and killed them. Verse six. We can't kill the message, but we can kill the messenger. And that can be done by razor-sharp tongues as well as by double-edged swords. Number five, act. One man came but rejected the wedding garment provided by the king. Verse 11. They come, but when they came, they didn't want to accept the garment that was required to get into the banquet. And there are people who want to come on their own terms, but they don't want to accept what is required to become a Christian. He wanted to be there on his own terms. Felt he was just as fine as he was. Why did you invite me for if you wanted me to change when I got here? I want to come, but I don't wear a tux. But that was required. Repentance was required. He didn't want to repent for anything he'd done because he didn't see what he did was wrong. So he just... But the king could see through the act. The pretense love. He unmasked him and threw him out. Number six, which is the best part, is acceptance. The wedding, the wedding hall was filled with guests. Verse 10. Both good and bad were there. These are relative terms for two kinds of sinners. The outward sinner, the upright, and the outwardly evil sinner. As someone said, it reminds us that the good still need the gospel and the bad can still have the gospel. A lot of good people still need the gospel. They're good people. Matter of fact, most people you know are good. Well, they're good people, Pastor. There's lost. We really think bad people are lost. We think the we think the young man that uh, seventeen year old fellow that with his seventeen fourteen year old sidekick that shot the mother and then pointed the gun right front of the face of that little baby and shot and killed him. Now he's a bad person. He's lost. But the mother could be as lost as he is. 
Either you're lost or you're lost. And whether you're good or bad, it has little to do with it.